Welcome to Kapow. Today's episode is brought to you by Joey Statham Realtor. Give him a call at Copper Leaf Properties at 256-494-7544. Thank you, Joey Statham, for always sponsoring Kapow. Butler Electric, give them a call. At two, well, I don't even have their phone number today. <laughs> How Butler about that? Electric. Give, give the, the fellows over at Butler Electric, the contractors, a call. They're great people. They'll take care of you. And then Moss Heating and Cooling, mm-hmm. guys that take care of you. Any kind of heating and cooling needs that you have, they are wonderful people, great people. Find them on social media at Moss Heating and Cooling. And then our friends at Clinic 5. One second, one minute, one day at a time. Anything that you need, if you have addiction or if you have family members with addiction, they can point you in the right direction of getting counseling uh, or even at sometimes the, the last resort is medication. Give them a call at 256 952 2709. And then our friend Craig Ford, he is running for mayor of Gadsden. And today we are in the house. What's up, J Dub White? You know, these are one of these special days you get up and you know you're going to have fun. We have have that every day. That's true. With this gentleman who has captured, I don't know what the right word is. Everyone's talking about this guy right here running for mayor of the great city of Gadsden, Mr. Michael Shell. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Appreciate y'all being here. I mean, appreciate y'all being here. I'm glad to be here with you. (laughs) Good. But my goodness, we, uh, we learned about you during the rendering plant last year and the stupidity of the mayor and the council, in my humble opinion. Um, we're glad that, uh, you exposed the truth. You know, the truth is important and, uh, we're going to try to share a little truth here today, but, um, Got Appreciate getting to be. Yes, That's sir. Right. Like it, like it. right here. Make Gadsden grow again. We've got to. It's not optional. You know, Gadsden has been declining for many, many years. Uh, more than Sherman's term, uh, even more than Steve Means' term. Uh, and there was another guy that we talked about that was Mayor Nolan in mm-hmm. there for Good one Lord. term. So we've had three mayors in, in around 40 years or so in Gadsden. Three mayors. I'm a term limits guy. We'll talk about that later here. But. Good. I, I like term limits. Two terms. Two terms is enough for any elected office. If a dog catcher is elected, <laughs> two terms is enough for that dog catcher. There's somebody else that can do the dog catching equally as good as that original well, I, person. Yeah, I'm okay with these limits as long as you don't per- put buffet limits of oh, two oh, times oh. in the line. Then Mm-mm. maybe we can do three on that. Okay, one. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> three, three terms. Three, three trip limits. Three trip limits. <laughs> three trip limits. I like it. So there's a lot going on with Michael Shell. This this is a a hugely contested mayoral race right now. You've got mm-hmm. a lot of people throwing their hat in the ring, and and it's not over, from what I understand. I, I think there's another one that's a maybe two, maybe two more that's going to throw one for sure is going to throw their hat in the ring. So you've got a a lot of people. You got from Michael Shell. You've got um, Heather Brothers New. You have Craig Ford. You have Doctor Jacobs. You have uh, Robert Avery. Um, you, and you got one more for you, sure, but, but you can't say that name yet. Can't say it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, just well, they haven't announced yet. But nonetheless, it's heavily contested. And so, with that being said, as, as a little city of thirty-five thousand people, um, it's a lot of people to split votes between. It really is. Um, yeah, stop you right there mm-hmm. for a second. Before we get into any of that. Let's try to get people to know you. Some yeah. people watching are not going to know your background, your past, what you're what you're about, what you're for. Appreciate that. So let's let's just let you get started. Then we'll make fun of you. Well, I'm. Oh wait a minute. Wait. No, no, we're good. Uh, I'm 60 years old. Uh, was born in 61 when Gadsden had 55,000 people. We were just talking about population. Now we're down to 35,000 people, thereabouts, maybe even less. That's the reason I'm running for mayor. Uh, my theme is simple. Make Gadsden grow again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried this four years ago, and I didn't make it on the ballot because I didn't get the financial document mailed off the same day. Uh, I want to put this out, out front. We, we signed up at 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon. The document had to be mailed uh, the same day. There was a new regulation the state put in. I did not know. And I, I, I screwed that up. You know, I, I mailed it the next day, certified. So it was still there on Monday. It couldn't have get gotten there any earlier because it's Friday. So it still gets there, mm. but I'm disqualified for that. So wow. that was that's on me. That, it, it's done. It's, that's what it is. Pissed off at the time, I guarantee you. Uh, do but you, do you know Harvey Martin by chance? I do know Mr. Martin. Okay, and a good man. 
He's he's he's, he had he's, a, he's had his obstacles he in had life a similar too. thing. Yeah, you know, we've all had obstacles. But you want to know about me? I, I'm a truck driver. I got out of the Navy. Went off in the Navy in 1980 when I voted for Ronald Reagan. My first election I ever voted for uh, was 1980. Uh, spent. November for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's in Great Lakes. Mistakes, what what a lot of people called it. You know, Chicago, Great Great uh, Great Lakes oh, great, great, for boot camp. Um, I'm proud to be a Republican. To my knowledge, I will be the first Republican mayor elected in Gadsden. I don't know in the I know for the last sixty years, but I don't know that we've ever had a Republican mayor in Gadsden. Hmm. Uh, it's a nonpartisan election. Well, that changes today. <laughs> it's partisan. Uh, politics matter. Your beliefs matter. You know, if you're a Christian, it matters if you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian. We don't hate you if you're you're not a Christian. We're not going to shoot you like the Muslims do. We're we're not doing that. We are. We want people to know Jesus. That 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 may, and that's going to be part of my campaign as well. I decided I'm not going to get out and work this hard, that at least I don't get a 30-second commercial in for Jesus somewhere. Good. You know, because it's one thing to be a church member. We, we talked about that a little earlier here. It's another thing to be a Christian. Jesus mm-hmm. matters in our life. And a lot of our problems center from that. Our problems are spiritual in nature, yet we try to regulate it. You know, the Ten Commandments was a pretty good list, far better than, than my 10-point plan. And if we could just go by them, we'd be in a lot better shape. I can't disagree with that. Pastor? Nope. No, so, but as far as me, I've been a truck driver. I got out of the Navy in 85. been a truck driver all these years. Uh, owner-operator since 94. Mm-hmm. So I owned a truck, driven every state. No, I did. I flew to Hawaii. I didn't drive I was going to say, I want, I want to see documentation. Uh, of that Hawaii but trip. I'll show you logs. Uh, <laughs> still on a log book. Um, but uh, been to Alaska twice. Yeah. You know, so I've driven, you know, through Canada. Uh, three million miles, accident oh, wow. free. Ticket free. I haven't had a speeding ticket in 20 years. Yeah, I knock on wood. Because Rainbow Sea going to get you as soon as you pull out of here. Yeah. Now, what I realized at age 40. This is sim- and and this is important. I, Jesus was important too. We'll come back to that a little bit. It's important because I finally realized at age forty, mm-hmm. if you don't go over the speed limit, you don't have to worry about a ticket. Well, there's some truth. There. And it really has yeah. been that's now being a truck driver. You know, we've got you know d- different levels of of authority. So, you know, somebody can still stop you and want to inspect your truck or look at your logbook. Truck and they should know this, and yeah. they should. Well, okay. All right. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's good. They should. We, we need standards, right? And sure. The the level of officers we have in Alabama, specifically, I'm proud of. I, I mean, I've been stopped. I had never had a DOT inspection in Alabama oh. all these years until the last two or three, and I have had at least three in the last three years in Alabama. The, and these guys have been great. That they have been super nice. You know. It, it, some states, California, for instance, in particular, some people just want to find something wrong. And you can find something wrong if you look hard enough. You can make something wrong if it needs to be made wrong. But, I mean, it's, there's been a lot of problems. There. Well, sure. But, anyway, I've been a truck driver. You can tell I can talk a little bit. Trucking is important. Uh, if you know a truck driver, tell them thank you today. It's for the what backbone they did. of the country. Everything sure. you have. Uh, these microphones we're talking on right now. Everything you have in your life, practically got to you by a truck. It doesn't matter if it was on a plane, train, or ship. It got to you by a truck. And a driver. The truck didn't drive itself. They're trying to work on that. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, With some products, clearly. Not every product. No way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. A lot about you. Married? Yes, sir. Married. Uh, Married to a Philippine. I've been divorced, but uh, married to Michelle. Um, She's uh, from about 500 miles south of Manila. Wow. Which is kind of like living in center or, or, or Boaz, you know, for yeah, very countryside rule, you know, just like we've got uh, cornfields, mm-hmm. they have rice fields. So, very countryside, half a mile from the beach, you know, really suffer when we go That's, over there. Yeah. I'd like to it's a hard life. life. I'd like to suffer. It's a hard like life. That. Speaking of, um, you, you talked about law enforcement, just kind of alluded to it in, in a segue, a little funny. So, we'll use that as a segue. Um, the city of Gadsden um, has a police department that is. Uh, well, some would say that they're they're struggling right now. Um, they're they need more people to, to work, need more people to stay. Um, is there a plan to give law enforcement incentives to to actually stay? And 
Uh, because in the city of Gaza, let's just face it, um, I'm not getting shot at for twelve to fifteen dollars an hour. Um, not gonna do it. And and that's not appealing to people that are young um, and that want to to go out and get a job. And that why not come to Rainbow City when you can get paid better? Your retirement is better. Your insurance after you retire is better. So is there a plan there? Just kind of to talk about law enforcement a little bit. You know, you said you love law enforcement, so. Because that's did a I say deal. that you you did? Did you I not? say I love law? I did. I don't. You know? But I but I do. Well, okay, but, I do. but I do. But I do. You heard it here first. So clearly, you don't like you. law enforcement is not on the top of your agenda. <laughs> okay. He's a truck driver first. Now, he did, did disrespect California, and so do you want to defund the police? <laughs> no, sir. I, yeah, we, we we support our officers. Is California a and, state still? Well, it's the it's the People's Republic of California. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's a yeah. little different country. It's a little different. No, we we love our officers. We appreciate everybody. You know, being in the military, I was a photographer of all things, but you still do security and everything else. And and you know, especially in the Navy, there's 60 jobs. So when you're aboard ship, you can't call somebody up mm. to do something you don't know how to do. So you got to know yeah. know how to do a lot of things. Officers, we appreciate everybody. Uh, our fire department, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you're a good mayor here in Rainbow City. You know, work for uh, sure for the city of Gadsden in the fire department. And and I want to apologize to Mayor Joe for the way the city has treated him as mayor. Uh, my goodness. They, they've just they, – I'm trying to think of how to put this modestly. They, they've really treated him like crap. Yeah, there's another S word, but I'll just say crap. Um, we like Mayor Joe. He's done a good job here in Rainbow City, so we're proud of him. But our officers, that, that was a real question. Yes, we love and respect our officers. Even if you don't, you better learn to. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> As and I said, learning right here on the show. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> authority. Authority comes from God. Um, every every uh, mayor, um, our sheriff, sheriff, Sheriff Horton, we love Horton, um, the governor, the president. The power originates from, from these entities. So when the, when you respect an officer, and, and I jokingly tell many that, that I respect your badge. I don't necessarily like you. Like you, you, know, you stop me, so I don't like you. But I respect your badge. Yes, sir. Awesome. No, sir. Sure. It, it just to, just, I'm saying this jokingly. Don't you? Don't anybody go do that and and copy what I'm saying word for word. But, you know, joke a little. You don't know what call the, the officer was just on before. Yeah. You don't know how he was harassed. And so, you know, people sure. escalate things. Just try to – don't say anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ten and two. <laughs> there, yes, and yes. There, there you go. Okay. But pay. We've got to review the budget. We've, we've got a lot of budget problems. Gadsden has got a budget of – I'm getting back to the pay. I'm getting there. Okay. Gadsden has got a budget of $53 million a year, thereabouts, $53 million. That's a lot of money. However, we spend about $19 million on police and fire department. Now, I want to have a complete audit of our finances if I'm, if I'm fortunate enough to be mayor. Uh, I don't trust the numbers that I've looked at. The budget, you know, previously was 200 pages. I think it's down to 135 on on the physical year for 2022. The numbers, we've got indebtedness of $175 million, as best I can calculate, with bonds, expenses, loans, obligations. What was that amount, 101? About $175 million. Okay. Uh, that's and and I could be wrong. I could maybe it's two hundred, maybe it's one hundred and fifty. It's right. it's hard to calculate. Right. I'm not an accountant, and you'd have to be an attorney and an accountant Jared to do this. On TV. Luther Abel's a good oh, friend. Of my wife lets me. We 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 we're you know yeah, very, Luther. Very much, yeah. I've talked to him about this, and 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 we're we're going. You know, uh, we need some some expert advice on what the finances really are, and and um, so we're going to now to the pay you. I didn't mean to get that long. Just you went to pay. Albuquerque to get to Chicago. I like it. Next year, yeah, there you go. Yeah, twenty twenty two is next year. That's so right. um, that's the election. Why don't we make our pay twenty two dollars an hour for our fire department and our police officers? Not the starting pay, the top pay. Maybe we're going to start at fifteen, whatever the the starting pay is, and graduate there at an expedite, expedited rate. Uh, if you're there six months, maybe we'd go split it. One year, you'd be at twenty two dollars. Well, let so, me ask this, and I ask this out of ignorance. If if the budget will allow well, that, I we've got to budget it. 
I asked this out of ignorance. What exactly is the pay for for city? I can find out real quick. Because I, I don't, I don't know that number. It varies. You know, most police officers uh, of in a larger city like Gadsden, maybe here in Rainbow City, uh, other places too, do security work. So, so they work. Right, they, they do their job as a, as an officer, mm-hmm. and then they will do security for other locations. So they supplement their income that way. Look at about well, they say about 40? 43,000, somewhere around in there. So it's okay, but it, it could it could be better. And, and well, that's under what the the medium income is for the state average, right? Right. The city of Gaza median income is about thirty seven thousand okay. dollars for the state for the is fifty fifty four something like that. Yeah. But the state, the city of Gaza is about well, it's thirty two thousand is the median income in the city of Gaza. Okay. So it's it's yeah. Well, because my voice is what it is, Jeff. Will you read this question by Aaron? She has a very good question. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen. It says. Uh, well, hold on a minute, Aaron. I'm sorry. It's malfunctioning. What are your thoughts on working with other mayors in cities and districts? Do you believe in working together with other mayors for the benefit of the county, obviously? Thank you, Aaron Knowles, for that question. Very good. Uh, sure. As much as we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, any would be an improvement. So from, from what we've had, you know, Gadsden, they've kind of been like a dictator. Uh, you know, a, a, we've got to do better. Uh, clearly, I... Personally, I love your mayor. You know, Joe, I'm impressed with him. Um, Southside Mayor, Ms. Snyder, doing a great job. Um, we, we've, we can do better. There, there's, there's no reason we're a community. You know, we're separate entities as cities, but we are in Etowah County. And, and we need to – my theme – what is my theme? Make Gadsden grow again. Mm-hmm. Now, that could be a theme for every city and should be, by the way. But if Gadsden will grow again, it will help Etowah County and surrounding counties. Sure. It will help everybody. If we get connecting flights, and we're, I know we're going to get there to, to that point. Mm-hmm. If we get connecting flights at our airport, that will revolutionize our county and area. Uh, we've got to. But we've got to work together where we can. We can find common ground. Sure. Brian Stanfield, thanks for watching, buddy. The biggest Alabama fan I know. And not the obnoxious Alabama fan. He actually knows football good. Snapfield. What's up, buddy? Um, so, uh, Mr. Tony said the pay uh, at the fire department in Gadsden is seventeen dollars per hour. Start. He said it starts out at ten sixty four. Ten sixty four. Out at seventeen. I don't know. I I, I, I wow. read the salary of the fire department in Gadsden is between thirty three. If it's ten dollars now, then it's lower than thirty three. Yeah. But between thirty three and fifty six. So I don't know. That's, That's still probably close though. I, mean, I don't know that for a fact. Thank you, Tony. For saying if, that, if I can say, Rob, from what I just looked at just yeah. in the last week, now we're spending. Now I don't know where all this money's going. That's the whole problem. That's what we've got to look into. We're spending, and this is amazing, nineteen million dollars a year on fire department and police department. Well, that's that. It's that's, not going to pay clearly, right? That includes yeah. Equipment and, and safety equipment. Upgrades. you got to have upgrades. Facilities. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a lot. But it entails a lot. I, I do know when, <clears> um, <throat> in me. 2003 when Sherman went into office, the, the, the city of Gadsden had no money, zero money. Uh, they were in the red. Now they have a surplus. Um, and that had happened to the city of Gadsden for a long time. We're mm-hmm. very good friends with Mayor Means, uh, former Mayor Means. Now I bump into him periodically when we're, when we're down at the coast. Love Steve. He's a good guy. He, he is, but when Steve was mayor, the city of Gaston had no money. Zero. They were always operating in the red. That is a known fact. It's it's there. Uh, but now there's money there. Uh, so how to use that money, that's a good plan. Go in and get an audit uh, and let's figure out how to use the money that we have. And use I it love Sherman, responses. believe it or not. I yeah. love Sherman. I don't. I don't like Sherman. <laughs> it's, it's, it's because you still own bleachers. That's the only reason you don't love because you got to run for coach. That's the only reason. But, but you know, yeah, we're, I appreciate y'all. It's a good show today. Hey, I, 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 think I, I appreciate what y'all do. Hey, um, another question here. We're just going to jump around. I like this. That's a good question. What's your plan on homeless? Love it. That's good. In the Thank you. Against. I don't want to be homeless. <laughs> I, I, then you better win this election. <laughs> no. I, oh, me. It's That's funny right. you bring that up. Uh, it, it, well, it's, actually, homelessness is not funny. Brian. Yeah. But believe me. Is that Brian? I believe I asked that question. Brian Butcher. Yeah. I appreciate Brian you, Brian. Butcher. Yeah, you, very Brian. good. Pre- yeah. He's a good friend. Uh, good question. May be one of our new councilmen. He is my campaign manager. Oh, okay. So, so the Brian, yeah. Brian's watching. We appreciate appreciate you watching today, Brian. Believe it or not, 
and and I, I, if you had a Bible right here, I got, I got a, a Bible in my phone. We got, we got Bibles. As many as you need. Okay. I'm an owner operator yes, because sir. of being homeless. I got evicted out of an apartment, a family owned apartment back uh, in the 90s. Packed up all my crap, put it in a self storage, lived out of a truck for a solid year, mm-hmm. company truck, and bought my first truck. Amen. So I am a homeless story. <laughs> I, as, can everybody be that successful if they did the work? I mean, success is what you make it, and you've got to do steps. If you take steps up a ladder, you miss a step, you might have a problem. Mm. You, you've got to do steps in life. Do we have a homeless problem? Many of the homeless that I've encountered and I've talked to over the last five, six years in Gadsden specifically are people that have gotten out of prison. They've come to Gadsden for, I don't know why, if they, we've got our, our city on prison walls that tell people to come to Gadsden because we're a great city. Uh, we don't want to make Gadsden grow again with homeless people. And we're not, by the way. We are absolutely not. If you want to be homeless, you can be homeless, but not in Gadsden. We're going to have a program for 30 days, maybe a tent city like Joe Ohio has in, in Arizona, mm-hmm. that we provide a tent. Maybe hot showers, maybe food. Um, we're going to help people how we can, but we're not going to make them comfortable because work takes care of a lot of problems. Make Gadsden grow again. Growth takes care of a lot of problems. When you work hard, you sleep better. When you work hard, you've got an income. You've got money. You can make the choices that you want in life. So we appreciate uh, that question. We, we care about home. We care about everybody. But it's not the government's business to run your life. We want to help people and get the government out of the way as much as possible. While we're talking homeless, Jeff, I mean to interrupt you. Well, I need to. to I'm going to interrupt you. We're we're having technical difficulties Are we? with with Facebook, but. The recording is still seamless. You'll get the full episode. Uh, just ho- hang on. So we're at the 2158 mark in the program. Everything will be seamless when in the rebroadcast. It may jump back in. It may be jerky, but you can go back and watch uh, everything that you've missed in just a few minutes. So just just keep that in mind. Horrible weather. Yeah. So go ahead. Sorry. I just want no, to No, my, my thought on that is I just want to talk about homeless. I just want to give... A shout out to Freedom Church yes, sir. Uh, for what they're doing with the new Freedom Center in Gaston and, and trying to get these people in. Like you're talking, get them showers, get them jobs. Bruce Word is doing a great job. Amazing. Yes, and, and we appre- and I'll try to get this one minute. Churches are a big part. As mayor of Gadsden, I will depend and seek pastors and churches to help not only Gadsden but Etowahki because faith matters. When you know, we were not Christians, you know, always we weren't born. Nobody was born a Christian, so we know what it's like not to be a Christian. Well, we've been there. You know, we see people and you know doing different things. Oh, they did some stupid things. Well, you know, you can halfway understand if if. And Christian, and, and no, <laughs> the way I say it is, is I'm, I'm a truck driver. You know, I'm a Christian, but I am not a saint. <laughs> well, we are made saints through Jesus. Jesus died for us. That's important. But when you're a Christian, your life is different. You, you've got a different set of values, a different belief system, different actions. Not every day. We're not, I guess I'm trying to overemphasize that, but just because we're Christian does not make you perfect. Yeah. Oh. But it gives you a different guidance system, a different GPS. That's true. Let's get to some of your, your highlights here. Eliminate the Gadsden 2% employment tax. Amen. Talk a little bit about that, Mike, please. No thriving city in the world punishes work with a local city employment tax. Now, I said that pretty plain, but I'm going to say it again. No <laughs> thriving city in the world punishes work with a city employment tax. Now, I know you talk to the people in Gadsden. It's an occupational tax. Mm -hmm. It's an employment tax. You've got to pay to work. There's no benefits for it. There's no deductions for it. It's just a flat-out fee for doing your job. We're going to eliminate this tax. Is it going to take some work? Am I telling you we're going to eliminate it the first day in office? No. It will take probably six months to a year to manage our budget, get it in order, If we've got increased sales of sales, yeah, and people, if a business owner is doing half a million a year and he does a million a year, he's making more money, he's collecting more sales taxes. If we have more businesses doing that, we're collecting more sales tax. We need to collect our money honestly by sales, not punishing work. How does 
do we know what all of that money goes through? We're, we're not residents of the city of Gadsden, but we've heard a little bit about it. What does that 2% go We would to? love for you to be in Gadsden one of these well, days. I'm, we're just up the street I'm here. Close. I'm and, uh, very close. You almost, I will <laughs> never live in Gadsden, sir. In <laughs> well, the history, unless, in, <clears throat> in the history of ever, I will ever. not live in Gadsden. Ever. 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 Well, and, and I'm, I'm a tally guy, but I'm a Rainbow City transplant. I understand. And some people, yeah. and, and for obvious reasons, but we are going to make Gadsden habitable. Hey, We're going to make appealing. It, we, we, it, we can. We've got good people. Gadsden I is need, as good as it is because of the people, <clears throat> not because of the government. I need Gadsden to be successful, right? I work in Gadsden. I'm in Gadsden every day, exactly. and I spend more hours in Gadsden than I do in Rainbow City or Tala, no question. But I'm only going to lay my head in two places, a Tala or Rainbow City. <laughs> well, yeah, because when I take a nap at work, I'm not laying my head down. So, yeah, yeah. I'm only laying my head down in those two cities. You just lay back. I just lay back lay in the back. chair. Okay. Sleep a little bit. Okay. And something you just said, you work in Gads. I do. We appreciate that. Yeah. And you can appreciate what I'm saying about this tax. Absolutely. And it pisses a lot of people off. I'm going to pull up you my know, checks that, up and that, show that, you how you, much tax is coming out. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and what? FICA. FICA? What the? Social, so what? Yeah, all these details. But, yeah, it, it's, it's not a... It tells you a lot about a city. If sure. they're going to punish your work, yeah. why would I bring my business here? If yeah. I was a millionaire, and I am not, but it, why would I bring a business here and I'm going to pay my, myself 100000 500000 a year, and I've got to give 2% of my personal check to the city just for bringing my business here? Yep. It ain't happening. Welcome to Gadsden. <laughs> so t- <laughs> talk a little bit about the uh, uh, elect, uh, what you would like to see the, the constituents of Gadsden to elect a growth-minded city council. Talk a little bit about what you mean by that uh, in your 10-point plan. I think that's number three on your 10-point plan. Excellent. A growth-minded council. I often say, you know, because I'm seeking votes, I say elect Michael Shell Mayor. Mm -hmm. But uh, often, and I try to say it every time, I I maybe miss sometimes, and a brand-new 100% Republican growth-minded council. Republican. We don't have any Republicans in Gadsden that I'm aware of now. We've got a couple of independents. What's an independent? A closet Democrat or a Democrat with a different name tag. Uh, we've, we've got rhinos in the Republican Party. They're Democrats that have a Republican name tag. You know, I'm talking about genuine people that believe in lower taxes, less government. Less government is part of that. That's a mandate in Gadsden. We've got to have less regulation. You asked me uh, which one was you. This is council members. I, I, I want to finish up on the members, but I've got another thought here. Sure. We need seven council members. That's not really a tall order. We've got 35,000 people in Gadsden. We need seven council. We've got three already lined up. I'm, I'm going to be announcing those uh, in, in a few more weeks, maybe a month. I'm not going to give any names today, but we're, we're going to have seven Republican council members that we are going to run together. Michael Shell for mayor, and these will be the seven council members that we are unified around this 10-point plan. And they will also have their 10-point plan of things they can do in their district. It's almost like a Baptist sermon. <laughs> hey, all you got to do is add a poem. He's good to go. Poem and a prayer. Yeah, you okay. got the sermon. Well, amen. <laughs> but we can do better. And, and we've got to. We've got to have seven Michael Shell Mayor and a brand new 100% Republican growth minded council. Democrats have ruled Alabama for over 100 years until the last 15 or 20. I think about maybe 18 that in Montgomery that, that Republicans have had control. So Democrats have deep roots in our state. Their policies have not always been good. Um, we don't hate Democrats. We don't hate. Nobody needs a hate list. You can dislike. We can hate sin uh, and should, but we don't need to hate people. We need to love people. I agree. So if I, well, I'll have Democrats supporting me. Do I support Democrat policies? I can't think of one that I support. Uh, I, I really can't. But but I'll have well, indep- I can't either. I'll, I'll have independents that support me as mayor. But I'm I'm mentioning this Republican, Independent, Democrat. Gadsden is a nonpartisan election. It's now partisan. I'm going to be a Republican mayor. I'm proud to be a Republican mayor, and I appreciate your vote and support for us to make Gadsden grow again. Jason and Dodd is a fan of yours, by the way. Jason knows how to cook chicken at Popeye's. Yeah. 
And he knows how to cook, period. But I, I love the red beans and rice and he said, Popeyes. What happened? I was I was listening to my buddy. I'm driving. I can't watch. What happened to well, him? Well, there's another post, Jason. That's what you get for having church members. He's Listen, driving. Oh, it'll be on in a minute. Yeah. It'll be back. It'll be back. You That's won't miss fun. a thing, buddy. But yeah, it, there's a commercial for Popeyes. We have an open advertisement slot, though. Uh, so I'm going to take that advertisement back. Nonetheless. Everything we're talking about council members, seven growth-minded council members. Get in touch with me, Michael Shell. That's me. 256 the Gad, the real Michael Shell. MichaelShell.us. Facebook, uh, internet, MichaelShell.us. Or give Michael a call at 256 Gadsden. As you can tell, I watch your podcast. So you the good. real Michael Shell. So I'm impressed. Real. I'm impressed. Thank you. Ask him about the the number four. I, I want to know. I think people need to know about it. I think yeah, be build a, 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 a twenty five thousand person entertainment like venue that. outdoors mm -hmm. at first, maybe. Isn't that an odd wording? I'm a truck driver. I am not a book writer for sure. Yeah, I'm. I've, how do you have a, 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 a like a convention center? I would. I wish you could have one. You know, in twelve months. You know, that takes years of planning. Maybe that'll be a twenty year goal. But in between now and twenty years, but that's tough with it. Two term limit. Mm. Well, <laughs> we haven't had any dead air. I've been, now, I, I'm a term limits guy. Okay. Two term. We're we're going to set our agenda. It's going to be up to the people to continue electing good Absolutely. people. Uh, I, you're I not the first person to say that. You know, I, I've had a, had a couple of people say T two terms is not enough. Two terms is more than enough. If you can't get something done in eight years, you probably can't get it done. Well, I have an I have a opinion on that. I think that some positions that are elected, I man, I think it takes two terms to understand how to do it. You I, you can't make me believe that you can learn to be sheriff in two terms. I think the first term you're completely learning how to run a jail. Do those things. Um, that there's some positions that are elected. I think two terms is plenty, yeah. but I think there's some that hey, hey we're adults. It's okay to disagree. We can disagree. Yes, and sir. I love that. So, yes, um, yes. I, I just think and something like share it. And that's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's perfect. But we're still sitting at the table. Absolutely. That's what being adults that's all about. So I just something like like the sheriff. I'm sure there's other positions. Man, I think it's such a hard job, and it takes so much to do. Um, I don't know that you can get it done in two terms. Not carry we, on we to, to, to your outdoor venue. Okay. Two terms for mayor. Two terms oh, for councilman. Two terms. I, uh, we're term -like. That's I'm point number two that. in our 10-point plan. Mm -hmm. You can find this on, on our website. You know, we're, we're going by this little sheet today. But, well, but I yeah. want more than two terms out of Mayor Joe Taylor. <laughs> Sorry. It was extended a, a year. So he got but a, with a, the COVID, COVID, it was extended. Year, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You yep. knew that, right? Two terms is enough for any elected office. What well, is I'm saying, but they they added an extra year for for COVID okay. to save Alabama. But two terms is enough for any elected. So Michael, you're saying two terms is enough. <laughs> I think two. I think he's saying that two terms. As long that's as you, eight years. As long that's as you, eight years. As long as, so you don't put, as long as you don't put those limits on my car. But hey. President yeah. Trump was in Coleman. What a few months ago? I can't remember. Yeah, there Not you last go. President yeah. Trump. There you go. And he was in Coleman with about 50,000 people in a field. That's my idea of an outdoor venue that accommodates, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 people to have concerts and events. Is it what President Trump did, not just in Coleman, he's done it around the country at different sure. locations, mm -hmm. but we maybe build a million dollar stage, you know, have a nice stage set up. Maybe, and, and, I, and this is my prayer, and maybe somebody's listening today that, that even is this very person that, they have 500 acres of land or a thousand. They'd be willing to donate to to the city of Gadsden with Michael Shell Mayor. Not yet, you know. Let's we'll wait one more year. But uh, <laughs> but we, we we have this this land, this acreage, 500 to a thousand acres. We have our outdoor civic center is what I'd like. I call it a civic center because I want us to have a civic center at some point. But outdoors is fine. We can have outdoor events. We're never going to have big name talent come to Gadsden if we can't sell ten, fifteen thousand tickets. We got Jeff Underwood. You know, okay, that's, that's good. We appreciate Jeff, on, but we can do better. And yeah. and the, and the, here here's another thing that I love about having this setup, the outdoor uh, venue. And I hate using that word because of the venue. We'll talk about that later. The that this outdoor location because we could have a community church service two or three times a year. That might bring revival to Gadsden. Church is important. I've not always attended church. I was not always a Christian. 
But church is important. Maybe people would come to the, one of our services that we would have that have maybe have church all day, have 10 pastors, have 10 sermons. If you don't like one sermon, you can go check out and come back in for the next sermon. That's what people you know. do with their church membership now. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah, yes. Right about that. Yes. So your pastor would amen that very quickly, Michael. He would. Jason. Yeah, Jason's all over that. We love Jason Ellen. We appreciate him at Wills Creek. Let, let's get straight to the the venue. Is there some distastefulness coming from you? The remodeled Kmart, twelve million dollars. The remodeled. You talk. You talk. Blue Light Baptist Kmart Church. Baptist? Kmart Baptist Church. Oh, you talking about the venue? Oh, the you venue. Said venue. Yeah, venue. Did that, I did I miss something? No, 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 no. no. Kmart. You it's, said Kmart. I, I, I'm, I'm a Rainbow City Italica. I thought we're talking about Blue Light Baptist Church by behind me. No. The the, the venue in Gadsden yeah. on George Wallace Absolutely. Drive the is a remodeled Kmart. Yeah, it is. Most some, some some people wouldn't know that. Most people would. Yeah. But $12 million of borrowed money. Now, it, it, did it turn out pretty nice? Absolutely. Gorgeous. We, with Michael Shellmayer, we're going to hopefully, and I believe we can, sell that property to a hotel conglomerate, Hilton, Hyatt, Trump, Marriott, Trump, oh, a Trump hotel. Would that be great? Put me on payroll. Man. We, we yeah. need a hotel associated with that. So we have a hotel and convention center, which is perfect for that. There's no hotel right there. You know, where City Hall is would be a perfect location for a hotel. That that, that City Hall building needs to be demolished. I think it's, everyone, that's a platform that everyone will agree upon. That that has is, that been shared? Oh, well, good. That's, we, we, that's trash. Good. To be honest with you. It, oh, we need a new City Hall. New, we need a new City, City Hall. And Absolutely. one thing that I am looking forward to is the debate. You mm-hmm. mentioned having a debate that's with right. the mayor candidates. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. But be careful because it's going to be at the venue. That's okay. That's mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we 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 need we've never had a mayor debate yeah. that I'm aware of in Gadsden. I neither one. That's why Jeff and I were we and so were drinking pre- coffee late one night and we said, you know what? Let's get everyone together and just debate. And it'll be at the venue. And at everybody venue. seems to be on board so far with that. Yeah. At, at, so far, bar none, they said yes, they're in. And we don't have a date or time, but we'll have I'll, that I'll in a future one. time. It's going to be in Feb. I mean, it's going to be in March, and I'll get with Scott Elkins today and get. Book it down. Whatever it is, I will be here. If I, if I, Book if your I, load. To- I, I, if I have to take off for, for a week to be here, I, I will take off. But whatever it will yes, be. Sir. Because that's important. You know, I did. We're not electing a class president. Mm. We're electing a mayor. Mm. You know, my 10-point plan, bottom line, and, and I've said it, th- this is almost stupid. And, and it's my plan. And I'm saying it's but it's stupid in the sense that I've got to run on something. <laughs> Every one of these things should be done already. I mean, there's nothing on this plan that's outrageous. Eliminating the 2% employment tax, term limits, growth-minded growth minded council members. Is that an outrageous idea? Hell no. That, that's pretty simple. You know, the, the, that's that bad business, Michael. That's that bad <laughs> Uh, build the 25 person venue, you know, outdoor. We, we're on that one. Mm-hmm. A regional a- airport, dedicated routes, streamline the building process. Now, I want to camp on this one just please, one minute, please. and you help with any questions you want to throw in. I'll have some. You cannot build a house in Gadsden on a 50 foot lot. Now, the city of Gadsden has tore down thousands of houses that existed for many, many years, dozens of years, maybe even 100 years on 50 foot lots. Now, by decree, You cannot build a house on a 50-foot lot. With Michael Shell Mayer, not only can you build a house on a 50-foot lot, we want to encourage you to build houses. House building is jobs. No question. You've got the groundwork, the prep work, the block work, the concrete work, the building work, the electrical work, the plumbing work, the roofing work, the painting. I mean, I hate painting. I've been doing some of that. But all these jobs, building is jobs. You know who can get behind that? Trent Thrasher at Trent <laughs> Thrasher Construction. Thank you, Trent. Is he a sponsor? He is now. Okay, his very wife, good. His, his wife is a sponsor. Be a sponsor here. Hey, we need to support this this radio show. It's 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 internet show. What whatever yeah. we call this, this is a medium that works for guests. These guys, thank you, thank Jeff and Jerry, take their time to to do that, and we appreciate you. We we really. I'm just I'm not just saying that gratuitously. We've had a void of media. Uh, what I've often said, the media is 97.3% dedicated Democrats. I'm not asking you which party you're associated with, but you're open-minded enough to have ideas expressed, and that is what we appreciate. I appreciate well, I think, let's talk media for a second, because I've been involved in the media for a long time. I think there's been three tremendous members of the media in Etowah County for a long time. Unfortunately, 
Dave Fitz has passed, right? The, the legend Dave Fitz was amazing. We, we still have Harry Butler. Doesn't do as much anymore, but Harry Butler. And we have yeah. Ray Estes. Yeah. Still does a morning show. He is a legend. I don't just mean old, because he is. <laughs> right. But he is a legend. So there's been a, a true... Dave Fitz used to be the voice of all things political, all things news. Um, man, I miss that man. Yeah, Dave Fitz. Absolutely, right, man. Yeah. Absolutely. So to, to, to yeah. your point... But that, that's excellent. Streamline the building process. So, so you know, that was point number six. I like keeping these points in order. I, mm-hmm. I, I know these things in my head, but I like talking about them in order sure. for a presentation. Yeah, we okay on time? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's my wife. You're good. Oh, okay. Good. Good. We're, we talked about this a little bit before the show. If you want to start a business in Gadsden, it's cumbersome, mm. <laughs> to say the Real least. And, and that's putting it modestly, as Real I can talk. say. For the first 24 months with Michael Shell Mayer, we're going to put a sale on business licenses. If you want to start a business in Gadsden, a $100 bill gets you, except Pilgrim's Pride. Pilgrim's Pride is never welcomed in Gadsden. By, we haven't even talked about the rendering plan. They don't need to. It's, it's, it's we're dead, opposed to it. It's dead now. Yeah. It's it, dead. They're, they're still going to be coming around. They're, they're going to still dead, be knocking on our door, I do believe. Uh, th- I that, it's dead. But it's dead. Yeah, and they're... they're we don't need Pilgrim's Pride. Amen. If, if we, especially, and my big point all along was at our airport. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine opening the door on a jet after you just left Chicago and get off and you smell all this chicken? Well, of course, S-H. as deadly as Chicago is, you're lucky you got on the plane. <laughs> well, okay, that's true, too. You're happy to get out of the Windy City. So, you know, we can, we can do better without a rendering plan. It would have been different if Pilgrim's Pride had come here and said, we want to have a rendering plan in Gadsden. and you've got cooked foods. I think next door to Cook would be a good location. I live on Nunley Avenue in East Gas. Harley Cutchins. I don't know if y'all knew a policeman. You knew Harley. I own his old house. Uh, you know, Harley passed away some years ago. Did Loved he, Harley. Did he take you in a couple times? No. Not One of the good. best stories Harley ever told Kmart, me at no. the at the Kmart <laughs> the, where the venue is. He, yeah. he he was you know he's a friendly guy. He was an officer, but he uh, he was talking to guy. He took pictures as well. He was a photographer. And he uh, he talked to a guy and run into him in Kmart and said, "Where do I know you from?" You know, thinking he took pictures. I said, "No, you put me in jail one night." <laughs> and, uh, but he was that kind of guy. Even though he put the guy in yeah. jail, he could still have a dialogue and That's talk awesome. with him. That's what being an adult is, right? Yes, supposed to be. Yes. So we 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 can do better in Gaza. We will make Gaza and grow with Michael Shell. Yes, and I all I try to put it a brand new what. 100, 100% Republican growth minded council. Get it back to the growth. airport. The, the, the airport with the flight, connecting flights. Extended. Growth at our airport. Okay, I like this. Work with the, the, um, the runway situation that we have there now, we have one that obviously. 6,800 feet. Very large. So yes. Land yes. Trump could, there. could land his airplane. Not, not air. You'd be pushing it to get Air Force One on there. We probably need to add a couple of thousand feet for Air Force. Tom Deal is a CFI. I've got a few hours in a Cessna with Tom. Tom might be up 40,000 feet right now in the citation, but we appreciate Tom. We we can do better with our air. We've got to. We had connecting flights years ago. We, we've had it. Many people don't know that, but we've had connecting flights in Gadsden up until the 90s. Somewhere I was off in the Navy at that time, so I don't know what what. <laughs> Thank what you for your they, service. We, yes, well, appreciate that. But we can have here. Here's the here's the bottom line. No business person, big big company, is going to come from from Chicago, from New York, from L.A., Seattle, and do business in Gadsden if they cannot get off an airplane, get back on the airplane, and go back to their headquarters. Mm. It ain't going to happen. What? You say, well, they could fly into Birmingham. Well, if they fly into Birmingham, they're going to do business in Birmingham. And Birmingham's got their own problems, too. They need to grow. Shuttlesworth is okay. I go to the Philippines. When I go to the Philippines, I've got to go to Birmingham or Atlanta to get on an airplane. Then I've got to go 13 hours from Atlanta to Seoul, South Korea. And then five hours from Seoul to Manila. And then another hour from Manila down to the Globe. And then three hours by a little Toyota van to get to where Michelle lives at. So I know a little bit about travel. I've been in 20 different countries. I've traveled every state. Mm. The, what makes me unique as, as, as your mayor is I'm not necessarily just from Gadsden. Was I born here in the Holy Name Hospital? Yes. Oh, yeah. But I've lived my life all over the world. And so we need some unique perspectives, not just my biggest resume enhancement is I'm a lifelong native of Gadsden. 
If that's your best resume enhancement, use that. But don't let that be your best number one point. Mm. Well, I mean, you kind of uh, segued into streamlining the building process, renovate homes, and, and then talking about enticing business to come here with the airport, re- having a, a connection or regional airport. Um, so let's talk about city, uh, simplifying the city sign ordinance, <laughs> where, where <laughs> some of you business owners that are our friends uh, can... Brutal. Yeah, it's talk, brutal. Talk to. So talk a little bit about that. What is it now, and why is it so difficult to, to put cutting it red tape? Yeah. We we need to to make simplify. Right, it's si- simple, simplify. Simple. Did I say simple? <laughs> we make it simple. Here here's our simple signed ordinance. If you, Craig Ford, you ever heard of Craig Ford? He owns the Messenger. You know him. You know Craig. Go, love Craig. We disagree with him many things, but but he's a good man, and we appreciate him. He owns the Messenger. We've got the Gadsden Times owned by the New York Times. If you can print your sign, and you should, in the Gadsden Messenger or Gadsden Times, it is approved. It's that simple. They've got their own editors. They're not going to print anything that's going to put them in jail. So we're going. you need to be advertising. So if you can print, and you will print your sign in the Messenger or the Gadsden Times, it's approved. It's that simple. We, we don't need we, we don't need bureaucracy and government to manage business. If I'll give you a simple, we got fireworks sales going on right now for the for the new year. If you wanted to start a business this week to sell fireworks, you'd have difficulty, probably impossible to get it done in Gadsden because of all the bureaucracy you'd have to go through. Mm-hmm. With Michael Shell Mayor, if you if you had a whole truckload of fireworks, you could have bought truckloads, maybe more than one, and you could do a business. You could go buy a license today and be in business this afternoon or tomorrow. We're going to make it simple to do business. And if you can't do that, I know a guy that can bootleg you some fireworks. <laughs> oh, no, That's no, no, no. So we can make We're it. not doing that. Jerry does. But my, my bottom line is, is we're, we want to make it easy to – we want to attract business. We also Absolutely. want to help existing businesses. That's a key now, point. Now, I – I know a common way of attracting businesses, you've got to give tax incentives and, and stuff. And, and maybe we'll have to do that. I, I'm, I'm not opposed to that where, where we need to. It, it pays off in the long run with especially a large business, large being a 100, 500 to 1,000 employee business. But if we're going to do that, and, and we will, we want to help our existing business. Uh, maybe the digital billboards, I think about that. I don't want the city owning stuff, but if we can negotiate a great contract that every business in Gadsden could be on a digital billboard, have three, four, five of them, it could play on the internet, different things. There's all kind of things we could do. Uh, one th- real quick thing, insurance. Mm-hmm. Some people have had insurance problems having medical insurance. Sure. I want to have a group policy for Gadsden that every citizen in Gadsden could be on this group policy. It's going to be, we're not going to have anything to do with it. It'll be through the insurer. They'll go to a website. They can sign up. Have to be a resident of Gadsden because I'm promoting Gadsden. So this would be simple. It would be a, a group policy like you'd have for your job. Sure. But it would not be tied to your job. It would be your insurance regardless of what job you did. Well, I think it's tied to my paycheck because they take a big cut. Yeah, they do. Well, it's cross, expensive. Shield, what the- and we've got to compare <clears throat> rates, plans, and get all that worked. But that's just one little detail. Let me, let me throw a question Go. at you. I don't know. Let me make sure I, I get this right. 256 Gadsden, by the way. What is your plan to be able to, for the city of Gadsden, to work with Etowah County Commission? Well, I, I wish they'd have given me something to, to go on with. I personally, I like Sheriff Horton. Uh, Sheriff Sheriff Horton, and as most people know, is a Navy guy. He was in go San, Navy. Beat on he him. was in San Diego. I was in Norfolk. So, so we appreciate. Uh, you couldn't be further away from each other. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be closer in Gaz. <laughs> we're we're going to have a good re- relationship with Sheriff Horton. Yeah, and um, but of course, we've got to do Sheriff, better. Sheriff Horton has nothing to do with the county commission. So. The commissioners, it's like they – I don't know a lot about them, to be honest okay. with you. And, and that's a whole whole big problem. Sure, exactly. A lot of this, you know, it's not just that it gets talked about as behind closed-door deals. Executive and this, sessions. It, but we don't see a lot. You know, Gadsden – I'm going to come back to the commission in just a minute. Gadsden has their, their weekly – show it's like it's a council meeting it's the council much, meeting much takes TV place though. at 10 o'clock the show takes place at 11 Amen. we're going to do different with michael shell mayor we're going to have a council meeting 
That is, we'll have an outline, maybe like this, what we're going to talk about, but the meeting will take place live. It will not be predetermined at 10 o'clock and then have a show at 11. We're going to have a real meeting with real, real dialogue like what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Whatever happens, happens, and that's always interesting. The commission, I don't, I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm going to take my lunch to watch that. Yeah, some excitement in Gadsden yeah. for a change. Oh, what are you doing today? We're going to go to the city council yes. meeting. You yes. know, sell tickets. I like it. And, uh, then we'll go to the venue. <laughs> <And> <laughs> we will be there. But dilly dilly. The commissioners, they, they, I'll give them credit for this. They had the wisdom to say no to Pilgrim's Pride. That that's one thing I can Most say. Most of them did. So, a majority. Jeffrey. A, ma- a majority said no to Pilgrim's Absolutely. Pride. Absolutely. The mayor and the council didn't have that same wisdom. Well, in my understanding, that the mayor has no say. It this this city is really ran by the by the council, and the the mayor doesn't even get a vote unless it's a tied thing. And he should. I, I've said this for years. Mm-hmm. The the council could change this tonight. They, they don't want to do it. My ten point plan. I you know, we're adding points. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Point eleven. It could be a hundred points. Yeah, it yeah. really could. We're in bad shape in a lot of ways. But these ten will revel. This is simple. That this is common sense stuff. But should the mayor have a vote? Absolutely. Uh, even Sherman. Even Sherman should have a vote. Well, he should have. Had- he's the mayor. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it yeah. makes sense that the mayor gets a vote. And, and but. And that you're right. The yeah. mayor sets the tone. Sure. But what's been the tone of Gadsden for the last 18 months? Well, from the council Stop meetings. the rendering plant. <laughs> that's been the tone of Gadsden. It and is. that's united Absolutely. Gadsden more than any single thing I have ever seen. Not just Gadsden, Etowah County. Absolutely. But stop the rendering plant. That's how I learned of your show. If it hadn't been for the rendering, I'm not really a sports guy. I, I could BS and tell you all I love I say, may the best team win. You know, I'm. Most of the time I, I was a band baby you know. at Glencoe. I carried a trombone. Glencoe, so you say? Glencoe, oh, 1980. Oh, JD Jennings. He's all with JD and and and, and Ed Lennon. Ed. Yes, yep. yes. Yep. The football I, guys. I was thinking you're more. Doc I was on the football kind of field, but I was carrying. A, I didn't say playing. I said carrying a trombone. Hey, you know, I, my, my son is a member of the Jackson State University marching band. He's excellent. gonna be a high school band director. He's a band baby too. He's Good. Huh? He's a big head beard. They called us band babies back when I was in high school. Be doing it. I'm sorry, Bailey. Whichever way you um, he can play it, whatever. What are you playing? What does he play? He plays the mellophone. mellophone. While he's marching. Oh, okay. The fr- the French horn and concert season. music is great. And he can play everything. He's, he's I play great. I play the radio fantastically well. Yeah, I'm great like a. Job, by the way. And we're golf this has been a great. Day. I tell you, I've really enjoyed being Thank here. You so we'll much we'll, for we'll do it again. We're looking Absolutely. forward to the debate with ideas. The debate moderators, you know, right That's here. Good. Okay, excellent. Because you are. Well, we don't get a vote in the election, so it makes sense. <laughs> hurt. That's no, perfect. Seriously. You don't have a horse in the race. Exactly right. Exactly right. That's, exactly right. that's why we thought it'd be very fair. We're going perfect. Ask, we're going to ask probing questions. Uh, we're the only rules that we ain't going to talk about nobody's mama. We're going to keep it civil. Sure. Uh, and well, you are from East Guys. You notice? I I've I love got, the truck on the sign, by the way. Yeah, that good. yes, Michael like Shell Mayor. I like that. You know, I didn't mention much about my wife, family. You bet. It's important, but but. For this job, you want a mayor. Yeah, you don't care about my family. I've, sure got, I've got kids, got grandkids. Sure. But that's okay. They're not in the race. I'm in the race. Michael Shell will be the mayor. I'll be. Well, I you will, may say I will that be, lie, but we know it's your house. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a strong marriage, it's I will Michelle, not. Ha- I house. will not have a time. If very rarely, if ever, that I do not have a comment for the people. You know, every week, you know, since the rendering plant, before Sherman was pretty loud. He always had something, you know, get a job, you know, got people's too lazy. Uh, all this kind of crap. And I you think know. that's still a fair point. It is a fair point. But the way he says it, his attitude, you know, the attitude of Gadsden is going to change with Michael Shellman. Do we have lazy people in Gadsden? Sure, I, everywhere. I try to be one. My wife don't let me. Yeah, well, I'm looking at these demographic numbers, you've got a lot of lazy people in Gadsden. We got That's some. True. We've got, got we've got some. Here here's the thing. It's Here here's here's the truth. We have Gadsden is as good as it is because of the citizens of Gadsden, 100%. not because of the government. The city government does not make Gadsden I agree good. With that the statement. citizens of Gadsden I agree make with Gadsden. That 100%. And most people want to do better. But they I'm I know this. I've I've grew up with it my whole life. People fear the government. They try to take the path of least resistance. They don't want to piss anybody off at City Hall. Well, I don't either. That's my Maybe. strength. That's <laughs> my superpower. Hey, listen to this, Jeff. I want you to, to uh, we're going to let you have a closing statement. Yep. 
then you can love on our sponsors a little bit. All right. And I'm not going to say another word. Please, Lord. It ain't going to be true, but thank you, Lord. Mr. And a closing <laughs> statement. Well, thank you for being here today. Thank you for listening. I... I would not have. I'm really not a sports guy, so I would not have known about this if it hadn't been for the rendering plant. God bless the rendering plant. Mm -hmm. Problems in life often produce the results we never expected. Mm -hmm. Positive results. Sure. The re the negativity of the rendering plant has unified the people of Gadsden and Ed Etowah County more than any single thing in my 60 year lifetime, uh, and that's great. Are we opposed to the rendering plant 100%? We might have a different rendering plant next to cooked foods. I could cope with, with, with a, uh, something of that magnitude, but it damn sure will not be Pilgrim's Pride. Mm. I've looked at Pilgrim's Pride. Their, their record for bullying their way into any city, for fines, just stupid stuff. It's amazing they're even in business. Mm. So we don't want Pilgrim's Pride. They've got a. They've got Albert. They've, Albertville has a Pilgrim's Pride location. Up, they can go to Albertville, Chattanooga. Have at it. You put a Pilgrim's Pride right beside the airport in Chattanooga. Uh, but no, we we love every every one of you. I don't know every one of you, but I love even my enemies, mm. not by choice. I love you because as a Christian, God demands that we love our enemies. And I say that not to brag on me. We all need to do that a little bit. Some of you don't love me. Some of you hate me, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. How can they hate oh, but, it, but we don't need to hate. Hate is a word we need to take out of, our, out of our words, out of our vocabulary, out of our speech. We do not need to hate. And, and I, I can, can I mandate that as mayor? No. Now, we're, we're not going to say the word hate in Gads. No. We, that's not. We don't do a lot of these problems, a lot of our problems are spiritual problems in nature. You know, we've talked about 10 points to make gas and grow again, eliminating the employment tax, flights at our airport, a simple sign ordinance, all these things, 256 Gadsden, by the way. But we can do better when we're, we, we put God first in our life. And the pieces of the puzzle really fall together when we, we, we have the right order vertically. When we're right vertically with Jesus, things become better horizontally. And that is my prayer for Gadsden. Not only to be mayor, but we, we see, make Gadsden grow again, of course, but see everybody, a revival take place. I would have thought, and, and you know, y'all are Christians as well, so you understand. During this, this rough time we've had with, with the China virus, I know it's COVID, but I like China virus. I don't like China virus. I like the term China virus. Let's be sure to clarify Nobody likes the China we virus. We, we knew. We knew. I would have thought we'd have heard or seen a lot of revival, but I have not experienced or talked to anybody that says, I've become a Christian in the last year, mm. the last 18 months, because I've learned to fear God. You know, I worried about dying. I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. And I pray that will happen yet. But I appreciate y'all being here. Michael Shelver, Mayor, Box 2537, Gadsden, Alabama, 35903. Phone number. 256 Gadsden. God bless you. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you, Michael. I will say this in closing. Um, it, 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 it's an honor to have Michael be here with us, but to, to something to unite Gadsden is a, is a rendering plant. That's sad. You, you would think as many churches that are in this county that Jesus will be the unifying factor, but that's just me. Nonetheless, thank you to our sponsors. We're so thankful for Joey Statham and everything that you do for us. If you have any real estate needs, want to buy some property, want to sell your home, uh, Joey, hey, if you just want to get some comps, Joey can tell you what your home's worth, get it figure, figured out for you. Give Joey a call at 256-494-7544. And our friends at Butler Electric, thank you, Mac Butler, for everything you do for us. You're a good friend to us and always have been, and we appreciate it. Hey, they'll treat you right. Anything you need electric done in your home or business, or if you're looking at uh, starting a business, he can hook you up and help you out. Thank you so much to our friends at Moss Heating and Cooling. Anything you need heating and cooling wise, they can take care of you. Hey, it's getting that time of year where it's hot, probably figuring out, hey, my air conditioner needs to be fixed. Well, they can help you out there. And then our good friends at Clinic 5, thank you to everything you do to get people's mental health right and get them taken care of with addiction. Give them a call, 256-952-2709, or you can visit them simply by going to clinic, spell out the word five, clinic5.com. Five, 
Com. And Craig Ford for Mayor Gadsden. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And Michael's saying no, but thank you guys to our sponsors. We're so thankful. And thank you for everybody that has reached out in the last couple of days asking about sponsorship. We're so appreciative to you and everything you do about getting the word out about what's going on in Etowah County. Michael Shell is here and he's asking for your vote, City of Gadsden. Stay close, stay clean, love each other the way God loves you.